hair. Oh, I didn't even know it was this bad, actually. Kind of looks cute from that side, though, like a little. But this side, no. This side, yes. No. Yes. Anyways, it's my day off. I've been working a lot, doing a lot of working, a lot of money making, but today's my day off, so I slept in. I don't know really what I'm doing today. I kind of just like to chill when I have a day off because, yeah, I mean, I think that makes perfect sense. Why would I explain it? I've been very tired emotionally lately. I've been facing a lot of difficult decisions. I don't know if they're necessarily difficult or if I just like to make them extremely difficult or more difficult than they really need to be but they have felt difficult for me. I am the type of person who likes to consider every scenario possible ever of any decision I make. So making decisions is kind of hard sometimes and it takes a lot out of me and it's all I can think about until I make the decision. And then I will make a decision and then probably make five more decisions after that until I reach my final decision. Normally when I'm feeling very stressed like this, I do a lot of shopping. So I thought I would give you a little haul of all the things I have stress bought over the past few days of decision making turmoil. So first, two piece little set. The top is like this green patterned button up and it has these cute little gold buttons. I've already worn it. I wore it open. I like the pattern. I've been liking greens and blues. But next, like I said, I've been liking green. Um, I need to like put it together. No! Okay, got it. This green little corset, that's what the back looks like. If it was on me, it would look something like that. <laughs> Last thing I got was these Adidas windbreaker pants. They are very big and baggy on me. I keep seeing like parachute pants everywhere. So I wanted to get some. Did my purchases help my decision making? Probably not, but they at least made it a little bit more fun. delicious, scrumptious, best, yummiest sandwich of all time. And today I'm gonna make it for lunch. I got it from Riley Baca on TikTok. My bread is moldy. I'm, I'm literally gonna cry. Are you, look. Do you think I could just cut it off the bottom? The whole thing. It's not even that, it's not even that bad. I'll just like saw it off and it'll be fine. Ah, oh, of course. Gonna cut off the moldy part. Okay, good as new. Anyways, after that bump in the road, one second, I need to turn on the toaster. To make the sandwich, you need some type of fancy bread that you can like toast. Preferably not moldy. Well, I guess you can toast all breads, but you get what I mean. And then burrata, arugula, prosciutto, mayonnaise, the key ingredient, Trader Joe's balsamic glaze. This makes the whole sandwich. So yeah, this is what I've been making every day for like the past two weeks. I've even eaten it for multiple meals a day. So you take some arugula, put it in a bowl, and then take any type of oil, drizzle it in there. Not too much. Take a little salt, 
sprinkle it. Oh, I was going to say not too much, but I think I put too much. Just a little bit of salt. Take your mayonnaise, spread it on each side of the bread. Scoop the arugula onto one side of the bread. Prosciutto. And place it on top of the arugula or whatever side you want to put it on. Take your burrata and put it on the other side of the bread. Take the glaze and put on a shit ton of it. Take one side, smush it together. Boom. Best sandwich ever. I just got off work. I had a great day, but great days make the decision I'm trying to make even harder. So, I don't know, here I am. I was like, I might as well just write about it, I guess, so I got my journal. And I'm just gonna write and see what I come up with. Wish me luck. <laughs>